I'm talking to Panupriya Krishna, who's the managing director of Percep Perceptive Solutions, and uh, her, her company is uh, is looking at uh, developing the skills base for manufacturing and semiconductor manufacturing in India. Hello, Panupriya. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. So, uh, Manupriya, tell me a little bit about uh, some of the challenges in India in terms of skills. If I, I think you know, there's huge plans, as um, you know, I've been told by uh, companies like Kane Semiconductor, uh, Semicon, that uh, to build the manufacturing uh, ca capabilities to service lots of new growth in HPC, for example. What are you seeing as the challenges for for sort of enabling that? Okay, uh, current challenges what we are facing is the resource, so the talent, ideally. So why? Because so far India was majorly focusing on the designing part. When it comes to semiconductor, there are two verticals. One is on the designing and the other part is manufacturing. So it has been very well established for last 30 years on the designing part, that is VLSI part. So we have been expertise there, but when it comes to manufacturing, we still lack because it was all about uh, the import, right? So right now we are setting up thanks to the government. So there are a lot of uh, OSATs and plants which is getting into picture. So where are the resources? The resources are majorly in the eastern part of Asia. So now it is a time where we have to pull up our socks and build those resources internally. So we are lacking a lot on the talent part. So right now we are in the process of building. So how we can do that? That is happening through the scratch. So earlier when it comes to designing also, there was government, there was academy and there was uh, the industries which got together and then that's when they progressed towards the designing finishing schools all this got into picture and now we are trying to similarly uh, do the same kind of thing similar kind of work for the manufacturing sector where government plays a role academy gets into picture and also the industries we put all together collaborate and then we uh, enhance the uh, resources so how are you structuring um how, how are you structuring um, the program and uh how do you envisage this or working? Okay, uh, so uh, we are in discussion with a couple of universities. So we have identified a couple of prime places where exactly this uh, plants are getting into picture. So uh, we are re reaching out to the universities. We are in discussion with them. We have signed up to MOUs as well. And uh, we are discussing with industries also. So Keynes is one of them. So uh, we are interacting uh, with these universities and with the industries where we are trying to put across the COE, Center of Excellence, where we train the resources once they are in the uh, six, uh, seven, some, eight, some. We train the resources. Uh, ideally, uh, it means to the skill development, hands on, uh, where they get the hands on on the tools, and we train them, and then we do the placement to the particular industries or the two particular companies. So this is the uh, small uh, uh, heads up what exactly we are trying to do on the program. And this, uh, you've already signed uh, MOUs with two universities, you said. Yes. So can you, can you name them? Uh, SOA, that is in Bhuvaneshwar, and the other one we are in discussion, that is Kit, Kalinga University. Okay, and so, so you work with the universities to get the students, and they're working, they, they are doing what kind of courses typically? Uh, it's in the uh, electronic side, so yeah. uh, they would be in the BTEC electronics. So we would be getting those resources and we would be having a set up a center of excellence inside the university or similar to that premises okay. itself and get the industries also. They would be helping them on the they training provide part. the training, yeah. Yes. Okay. And then we would be up, uh, enhancing them on the soft skill uh, as well and then putting them across to the industries. So there is a growth uh, from 2019 till uh, 2023. If we just look at the uh, data, I mean, uh, the job boards, there's a 7% of growth in the semiconductor. So it is going to, it is ad anticipated that there is going to be a huge growth as well. So uh, that is where we are trying to fill in that gap. Growth of semiconductors, what, generally or just a specific area? Uh, as I told, it is in the manufacturing, manufacturing sector. Manufacturing, okay, yes. So OSAT, which gets into picture, and where the plants are, all these things getting into picture. And, and the, the students will typically do something like a four to six month course, is that right? Yes, so we are planning on the program of four to six months, so where the students will be completely skilled, and then they are a finished material for the uh, uh, industries to go ahead with their uh, I mean, the, once the training program is done, they are done there, so they, they can go ahead as a fin finished material. Got it, got it. And um, what kind of like job roles will they be full filling then? You know, what, you know, what kind of skills are, are they going to be learning in the manufacturing process? Uh, they would be embedded. Uh, they would be learning on certain aspects of uh, manufacturing, packaging sector. Got it, yeah. So yeah, those are the kind of things. We are already there on the designing, like physical design, 
verification all this part is already being covered so there would be a dev, uh, uh, they, there would be more on this uh, packaging sector manufacturing sector all the tools uh, okay. aspect and and as part of that i think uh, the indian government has provided uh, tools from some of the eda players to help that haven't they in, in terms of the bringing those into the universities that's where we are in the discussion right so we are in the discussion where the uh, government also have some funding or uh, the skill development part uh, just to give an example in bhuvanesh where there is already a, a skill development center where the government has taken the initiative so similarly we are in discussion where government also uh, helps us in the uh, funding part for the uh, skilling and development program and the university academy gets into picture simultaneously the industry part all this when there is a collaboration that is going to help us to bring up the next uh, thing to the picture that is on the semiconductor manufacturing and, and uh, i mean you just did a keynote on ai uh, at a conference and and uh, in 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 india mm -hmm. but uh, tell me your role you're a one year startup but you're you you you're going to be keen to set set up set all of the the courses up and facilitate all of this is that right yeah so yeah perceptives is one year startup uh, so we have been working with couple of uh, semiconductor pharma and it companies so um, it has been uh, driven by uh, uh, to be more honest it has been driven by diversity so okay. uh, empower the less empower that is the kind of mission which we hold and uh, by seasoned recruiter so we are already there in the stage of uh, leadership hiring and also the mid level hiring so this is something which is going to be a revolution in india when it comes to manufacturing so semiconductor has already have taken that fab thing and uh, a revolution has already started there in india so now when it comes to enhancing that and providing the uh, skills uh, particular resources for that where we don't have to really look into the outside of the uh, country so it is going to be uh, make a big difference there and that is where we are working to and i mean just as a last, last question what sort of number of students did you see going through this program in the next 2 or 3 years uh, that's a huge number because uh, the expectation for this particular industry is wherein 1 lakh uh, resources 1 lakh is 100000 Yes, one hundred thousand of uh, resources are required every year. So you can understand the volume which okay. is going to get into picture, right? So where do you get these resources? Obviously, everything cannot be outsourced, right? It has to be inbuilt. So that's where these things gets into pic uh, program. So probably uh, I am looking out to start somewhere to have a initiate to where which we have already started, and then take it forward. And uh, probably we cater at least fifty percent of the demand, and then uh, move towards it. Well, Anupriya, thank you very much. Thank you so much.